we are given f of x and g of x and asked to determine and simplify f of x minus g of x, which means we need to subtract these two rational expressions. Notice how we don't have a common denominator and therefore the next step is to factor the denominators so that we can determine the least common denominator. Well, the denominator of x plus three doesn't factor. For the second denominator, notice how the only common factor among all three terms is one, and therefore if this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors, because the first term is x squared, which is equal to x times x. We have an x in the first positions of both binomials. Because the leading coefficient is one, the terms in the second positions will be the factors of positive six that add to positive five. And because two times three is equal to six and two plus three is equal to five, the two factors we need are positive two and positive three, which means one binomial factor is x plus two and the other is x plus three. Now that we have the denominators in factored form, we should be able to recognize that the least common denominator is going to be this denominator here, or a factor of x plus two and a factor of x plus three. Notice how the first rational expression does not have a factor of x plus two in the denominator, and therefore the next step is to multiply the numerator and denominator by x plus two, which will give us an equivalent rational expression with the least common denominator. And now that we have a common denominator, we can subtract. When we subtract, the denominator remains the same, and we subtract the numerators. And the order of these two factors does not matter. In the numerator we have the quantity x minus four times the quantity x plus two, and then minus the quantity negative nine x minus 20. And now we need to simplify the numerator to do this. We need to multiply these two binomials and then subtract this binomial. When multiplying two binomials, we have four products, one, two, three, and four. And to clear the parentheses here because of the subtraction, if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a negative one. Multiplying the binomial, x times x is x squared. Then we have x times two, which is two x. The next product is negative four times x, which is negative four x. Two x plus negative four x is negative two x, giving us minus two x. And then we have negative four times positive two, which is negative eight, giving us minus eight. And now subtracting this binomial, or distributing negative one, we have negative one times negative nine x, which is positive nine x, giving us plus nine x. Negative one times negative 20 is positive 20, giving us plus 20. And the denominator remains the same. And now we combine the like terms in the numerator. We have x squared, and then negative two x plus nine x is positive seven x, giving us plus seven x and negative eight plus 20 is positive 12, giving us plus 12. We're still not done yet. We need to see if we can simplify this rational expression. To do this, we need to try to factor the numerator and see if there are any common factors between the numerator and denominator that we'll simplify out. If the numerator does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. X squared is equal to x times x. We have an x in the first positions. Because leading coefficient is one, the second terms of the binomial factors will be the factors of positive 12 that add to positive seven. And because three times four is equal to 12 and three plus four is equal to seven, the factors we need are positive three and positive four, which means one binomial factor is x plus three and the other is x plus four. Notice how we do have a common factor of x plus three between the numerator and denominator. X plus three divided by x plus three simplifies the one, and therefore the simplified difference function is the quantity x plus four divided by the quantity x plus two. The second part of this question asks for the values of x that must be excluded from the domain of the difference function. We must exclude the values of x that make the denominator equal to zero because division by zero is undefined. However, we need to use the form of the difference function before we simplified or this form here. Let's do this on the next slide.
And again, here's the difference function before we simplified out the common factor of x plus three. And again, we must exclude the values of x that make the denominator equal to zero because division by zero is undefined, which means we need to solve the equation, the quantity x plus three times the quantity x plus two equals zero. This product is equal to zero when x plus three is equal to zero or when x plus two is equal to zero. Solving for x, here we have x equals negative three. Solving for x here, we have x equals negative two. These are called the excluded values. Also notice how if we go back up to the original functions, f of x would have a zero in the denominator at x equals negative three, which means we'd have division by zero, and f of x would be undefined. And we also know that we can factor the denominator of g of x, which factors into the quantity x plus three times the quantity x plus two. Notice how the denominator of g of x is zero at both of the excluded values, which means g of x will be undefined at these two values, also verifying why we must exclude these values.